I was gathering tools this morning. I walked into a spider web. It's in my hair. I'm concerned. I hate that. Don't you guys hate it when you walk into a freaking spider web? It's not so much the web, it's just you don't know where the spider's at. That's the part that concerns me. Good morning, kind of. Today, as we make our way, okay, wait, are you gonna go? Or just please go, just go. Thank you, thank you very much. Wow, look at that cloud. It's just like hovering over every, okay, anyway, uh, the reason why I turn this on. So we are headed on a mobile appointment this morning. Um, destined to get there early, which is good. I could have slept in a few more minutes, which kind of sucks. I wish I had, but you know, better early than late. And we're uh, getting to the mobile appointment today via the freeway, which coincidentally is not free. You're not free to do whatever you want. And in many parts of the country, it actually costs money. I sincerely think that I should invest in a dash cam because I know just laws of averages that I am going to, there's going to be an accident in front of me or someone's going to hit me, but usually that would be from behind. Unless you get a dash cam for the front and the rear, you should get a dash cam for the rear. If you're going to get one for the front, you need one for the rear too. I don't think many people think about that. Look at the cloud. That is so cool. You look over here and it's like, oh, that's fine. Then you look over here and it's like, oh my gosh. They're angry again. Damn angry clouds. Gosh, I'm spinning. I must be happy. Or I have a list. Suffering second dash. Anyway, uh, Crypticon this weekend. You guys, if you're going, you need to get your tickets now because they do go up at the door. So make sure that you get your tickets for Crypticon Seattle 2016. Anyway, we're going to be there Saturday, Jim and I. So that's going to be awesome. Something that's not awesome. Heading into a rainstorm. I think we're gonna get rained upon. As you guys can see by the sign, we are in an area called uh, the Kent Covington area. It's very, very pretty. It's along Highway 18 in Washington State. Um, and just seeing all this green and all the trees totally, totally makes me want to plan a camping trip. I need to get out. I need to get. After two miles, take the exit right. Thank you. Really, she's been so quiet for so long, and then I start talking to you guys, and oh, GPS wants your attention. Oh, so anyway, um, yeah, I, I totally want to plan a camping trip and get out into the woods. There's this awesome place that I know that uh, it, it's an old logging road, and it takes you all the way to the very top of this mountain. No city lights. As long as the weather's nice, you can see the stars like 360 degrees, and and it's just so so beautiful, so beautiful. I need to get out there. I I need I need some fresh air. And and there's a city close by, so that I can still upload the vlog because I can't miss it. I no can't can't miss the vlog right? 2,000 plus days. Yeah, I'm, no. Every single day. This is what I do. Look, horses. Horses, oh my gosh, we are in the country now. And even a sign. You know you're in the country when you see a sign saying horse crossing. And again, I just passed a dead squirrel in the middle of the road, and just ahead of that dead squirrel, another squirrel like went dee 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 Not even fast, I had to slow down for him. This must be like squirrel kamikaze season. I can't remember where I saw it, but after I did COC, somebody posted on the vlog that it was weird that I had mentioned the kamikaze squirrels because they had squirrels around them. Is this like national? I mean, serious. It's like an epidemic. It's a squirrel epidemic. Poor squirrels. I don't understand. It is, are they just more active or they like the road for some reason this time of year? I, storing their nuts on the other side of the road. Maybe their girlfriends live on the other side of the road or boyfriends live on the other side of the road and why did the squirrel cross the road? Apparently it was to get to the other side but we have no reason, no understanding why. Not much has changed for you guys, however for me a lot's changed. I'm dirty now. <laughs> I've got mechanics tan. See, see, look at that. See, that's what I talk about. Mechanics tan. So headed back and luckily, luckily we never got rained upon. 
Woo, that was so great because I was working outside. So that, that's like the best news of the day. This right here, all that, that's what I was hoping to avoid. Apparently, I did not avoid it. Keep left, then take the freeway. Yes, no kidding. Take the freeway. I, like, I do I, I have a choice. Can't turn around, can't, can't back out of this. Gosh, wouldn't that be weird if I just turned around and started going the other direction? Yeah, I think a lot of people would have a lot to say about that. And I'm home. I'm home, I've got the truck unloaded, everything put away. I've got the bu stop scratching. Every time I film you, you're either sleeping, staring, or scratching, unless you're being bathed. All right, whatever. So, yeah, so she's here. She's good, fed, watered, gonna get the mail. Ooh, 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 spider. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too, ah, geez. Ever since I thought I got that spider on me this morning, like four or five times today, I felt like I still had a spider on me, and I really think that I did. I, you, I'd rather you take the spider. Can you take the spider for me, please? It looks like our anonymous donation god sent us something else. I've already kind of taken a peek to see what it is, but you guys are going to love this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so awesome. These are spur straps for the spurs that we got the other day. That's so outstanding. Outstanding, I tell you. And I can't give away the secret of the secret identity of this awesome person, but thank you very much. Um, and only this awesome person knows what's going on. None of you know what's going on. Sometimes I don't. Really? Jeez. I thought I killed it. Maybe I'm just tripping out. I don't know. That's strange. Keep thinking there's spiders in my hair. But um, I, I know what's going on. You guys don't know what's going on. But you will know what's going on. But not right now. Just know that we got spurs and spur straps. And it's haunt related. I know. Right? Figure it out and I'll give you like a million hell points. Unless you already know. If you already know, then don't post anything because it's a secret. It can't be a secret if you go around telling people. Ugh. Woo, we're going across the lake. Going across the lake. Look at this, look how pretty this is. Look at that. And see, this is another reason. Don't let, see that, you see that? Person in, in the little walker thing? Don't let life stop you from doing what you want to do. Get out there and freaking do it. Make educated decisions. Don't do anything rash. Don't get a rash. Because if you do something rash, then you might end up getting rash, and that would be bad. What I'm saying is, is if you have a dream, don't give up on the dream. Just baby steps to make it happen. It's all about the journey. Wow, look at some of these houses, jeez. Speed limit 20 miles an hour, uh, bumping roadway ahead, and something else. Motorcycles use caution, oh cool. We get to go and we get to drive over the big hole in the road. Oh, this is so exciting. We get to see what the heck they are doing. Oh yeah, so they're not done yet. Or maybe they are done and they just need to bring back and like pave it. Well, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be fun, look at this, look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Obviously more fun for me than it was for you guys, but you know, eh, eh, I brought you along anyway. Here's something I don't think that I ever vlogged. I talked to the owner that used to own this house years ago, a while back. This fenced area right here has been here since I've owned the house. So they put it in years and years ago. <laughs> um, I used to think that it was their garden section because you know, these are also, I need to replace them, but I just never have. Those curtains right there are also uh, from them. I just ended up keeping them there. Interesting thing though, this did not used to be a garden. This was the opposite of a garden. This is some place you don't want to dig. Yes, it was a pet cemetery. <sighs> he said that there were birds, gerbils, mm, a cat, 
two dogs. Yeah, pet cemetery. <sighs> All right, there you go. Hopefully, I'll give a good view. Are you ready? Come here. Are you ready? Come on. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. You ready? Ready? Go get it. <laughs> the way she tears across that grass is crazy. Good girl. Hey, drop it. Leave it. Leave it. Sit. Sit. Well, that's not sitting, but good girl. Good girl. I am about to watch The Conjuring simply because The Conjuring 2 is coming out and I wanted to you know, if there is any correlation or similarities, I want to make sure that I'm kept abreast of them because being kept abreast is important. What? May I help you? Oh, and to make things spooky? Yeah, you guessed it. Wow. I'm watching The Conjuring and it's 66.6 6 degrees inside. <laughs> Shh, down in front. Get wow. Buffy just totally went to see the dog on the TV. I've never seen her do that before. Awesome. Roger. Yeah. This clock stopped at 307 and so did the one in the hallway. That's weird. I think that I remember watching this a long time ago. And I certainly, ow, God, that's bright. Um, I think that I enjoyed it better the second time. Buffy, thank you, you scared me, jeez. Do you guys ever do that? Do you watch like a horror movie and then afterwards, just walking into a dark room, letting your dog outside, opening the door, just like little things just start to make you think. And it's like, you're just apprehensive about everything, like dark corridors. <laughs> Hopefully I scared you guys. That was kind of funny. That should turn out good. Anyway, um, let's do some COC and let's wrap this up because I still got work I got to get done tonight. Hence the reason I have coffee. Alrighty, ignore the noise of the television in the background because I'm too lazy to get up to change it or turn it off. I'll do it later. Right now it is COC time. Jolson, you were first Congratulations, you are not third. And you also ask, would you date a vapor? First of all, I hate the freaking term vaping. It's so, God, it's so stupid. Um, here, here's the interesting thing. People are saying, oh, it's safe to vape and everything, but you know something? Years later, they might find out that it's not. And the safest thing, if, the, if there's a question on whether something is safe or not, if you don't do it, it's safe. And you won't be spending money, so it, there's really no point. And that's the way, that's the way I see it. So, I, I don't know if I would or not, because it's still a chemical dependency. That Barb Girl, as someone who's been a non-smoker, I prefer to date non-smokers. Smokers are stinky ick. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. I hit it for so many years. Halloween Happy, Sam. I'm getting choked up right now. Thank you for reading the Energizes comment. Um, well, thank her, Catherine, for making that comment and bringing it to my attention what, what, what's happened. Um, Sam, you go on to say that she taught me how to be brave, strong, courageous, independent, how to be a hard worker, and to appreciate the small things in life that might not be so great to others who have it better. It sounds like she was an awesome person. And now I just need a Buffy hug. Thanks, Troy, for always bringing a smile to my face. P.S. I'm laughing at your response to the jogger. Well, yeah, she was jogging in a miniskirt. Who does that? I don't know. I'm trying to bring light to the situation now. So, um, wondering, Sharon, itchy nose means you're going to kiss a fool. <laughs> oh, been there, done that. Wizard Dolphin 84 what happened to your son? Oh, wow. Go back to last year's vlogs, July, August sometime. I, I explained it all back then. I don't want to rehash it right now because there's a bunch of stuff coming up this week that um, I, I don't want to cause any ripples or anything like that. So everything will be in due time. In due time, sir. Oh, you also ask what vacuum do I use? 
I use an old uh, Amway Clear Track vacuum. It's an old one, but it works well. And it was like, as far as I know, it was like one of the first bagless vacuums. Greta Boss, you didn't use her monogram towel. No, I actually use that in the kitchen now. It's a kitchen towel because it'll stay cleaner longer. And, and, and yeah, I use it in the kitchen. Chandra, good day, Troy. I grew up in a house where everyone but me smoked while living in it. I never noticed the smell in the house or on my clothes. But after living in a smoke-free home for years, I went home and cannot believe how bad the smell really was. Yes, it is. When you smoke, you can't smell it. You can a little bit, but not like a non-smoker can. And yeah, that's just, it's just the nature of the beast. Um, so anyway, guys, uh, happy haunting. Thank you for watching. And we will catch you guys tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm yawning again, but that's because I'm tired. I need to go. Bye. I don't think this is the Hellmouth anymore, Toto.